Good morning folks. Due to popular demand, I will be modifying my shelf. Some of you were worried I might bang my head on the shelf when I was working on it. So nice to be, you know, have people care about you. So anyway, that's gone. It also means I can do this. Makes more sense. I only ever installed the shelf because I needed more space, but I'll just have to find a new place to throw my junk. Right, let me show you what we're doing today. So before I can attach that to that, I'm going to have to spend a bit of time and straighten, straighten that out. It's pretty bad. Hopefully I can just pop up the middle and it'll fix that. But there's no point trying to put the window section on until I've got that. See that's a really nice curve there and then it goes up the way again. So as I say, I need to get that whole indent out the way. And that's why God created hammers. And then I need to work in this window section. As you can see, it's fairly horribly twisted. And that angle there, not that angle, that length there should be, it should be curved like, like that. And it's not, so lots of hammer work, which I really hate doing, but I need to do it. So uh, check back in in about two hours and I might have it done. For you it will be a, just a transition. Amazingly, that actually worked. I've got rid of that that hump that was in the middle. I'm sure if I spent another, well, more than five minutes on it, it would be even better. I've got a crack here that I need to weld up before I continue. And then I, I still need to make this make this curved because it's not it's not curved. I mean, it might take the shape of that when I weld, but I'd rather at least have a head start on the curve. So I'll do a bit more work on that and then get it ready to weld to that. Sorry, get that ready to weld to that. Okay. Okay guys, I've got a new idea, which I'm sure plenty of you told me to do, but I didn't quite understand what you meant until this, this point. Instead of trying to just rely on clamps to hold this in place at the back, which did not work over there by the way, ended up just trying to stitch crappy old metal together. So this time I'm going to weld through that little hole onto the new steel which is a little bit thicker and got more integrity than the original and hope that the heat transfers through the, the weld in the middle goes into the old steel and holds it all together. So I've only got a couple of clamps so I'll do spot, 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 move that clamp over to there spot 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 maybe and so on and so forth we've got a couple of strips of steel to add okay i'll give that a go and see how we get on It seems to have worked okay. I've got a crank here, I might as well weld it up while I'm at it. 
You can see some Swiss cheese up there. I'm not going to touch that for now. Okay, uh, I'll just give them a quick grind down and then see if the door's going to miraculously fit. Right, we're all lined up, and of course it started to rain, so <laughs> we'll see how far I get before I electrocute myself. Find my big claps. And then it rained. Oh, come on, give us a break. Oh, okay, I'll show you where we're at. I was basically working my way along with spot welds, joining the two sections. I got that far, rain came, so I can't, well, I can finish it, I can do it in the garage. It's just that I had to bring all the electrical stuff inside, so I need to do a tidying up. Before I continue, Stuff it, I'm getting a coffee. Back in a minute. Welcome back. Yesterday just got too frustrating with the rain and some of my tools dying on me. So, I'm starting afresh today. And at least today is going to be very nice. So, let's get on. So, here's where we're at. Yesterday I started tacking all the way along I got this far, the rain came and tools died and uh, that was it. I gave up for the day and sometimes you have to just step back and give it a wee break otherwise, well personally speaking, I end up rushing things and screwing it up worse than it already is. Now this is going, going, up, uh, going along quite nicely and I've not welded this section here specifically because I need the, the angle, I need the curve of here round to the, there to fit the, the doorway and if I don't weld this at the moment then I've got this amount of play so what I'll try and do is once I weld the top I will place the door in position in the right place and then clamp it at the right angle and put a tack at that point somehow and whatever gap whatever gap that has to be you see where I'm at so if it has to be there I'll tack it there if it has to be there I'll tack it there that's the plan so let me finish welding along here and then I'll go in between and I'll I'll do as I'm told and I'll do it at different areas so that I don't I don't cause too much heat creep right okay here we go
Right, bigger welds are done. Uh, you know what, let's just paint over that and leave it. <laughs> no, 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 I'll grind it down. Hey, while well, I remember, yesterday when I was grinding, I, you know, when I was done, I could, I could have sworn I could smell something burning. I didn't see any smoke. So I just presumed it was the guy next door who uh, does a lot of woodworking and I thought the smell of the wood was drifting in. But as it turns out, tissue paper is highly flammable. Who would have thought? So that's what I was smelling. So um, again, don't tell my wife, because I, I assure her she, that I'm being very careful all the time. Okay, so always be cautious because that could have been disastrous for the bank account. <laughs> right. Uh, okay, I'll get grinding this down and then I'll throw it in the car, see how it looks. Not quite finished cleaning that up. But overall, oh, there's a gap there. The top needs to go in a little bit. I don't want to push it because the only thing holding it on is that. So yeah, that can go in a little bit and that will close that gap a little bit. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'll take that as a win. I don't want to spend too much time making this smooth. What we'll do is... If it starts getting a bit dicey, then I'll just I'll just put a thin layer of JB Weld over it, which dries kind of dark grey anyway, so it's not going to be too bad. Again, this is a temporary door situation, so don't get too freaked out. The main thing is it now fits nicely, so I will I'll get those inner junks uh, joins. I uh, don't know if you can see. Yeah, so that needs to close a little bit, and then when I weld that together, it will keep the it will keep that curve in theory, in the same on that side. Okay, so that's what I'll do, and then I'll start working on the hinge hinges. Obviously, I need to try and get these hinge pins out. The bottom one's okay actually, but this one is really badly worn. So I need to get that pin out and see what's going on inside there. Splendid day. Splendid. Before I start dismantling this hinge or attempting to, I've... You can see the amount of wear. That's no use. The one at the bottom? Fine actually no movement at all and it's nice and free so that doesn't need any work it's sitting nice and straight this one goosed so as i say i've sprayed it with wd-40 i've sprayed the inside of these because obviously i'll take the whole thing out and do all this in the vice but while that's uh, doing its doing its work i'll head down to the basement and check youtube and see how people remove these pins back shortly As usual, I've hit a snag. I need to get this out because the G-clamp I've got will not fit in that space to push the pin up. So I need to remove the whole assembly and these of course are completely seized, as expected. So I'm going to clean these up. I'm going to chop this down to fit into the, the gap of the screw, weld it on and hopefully that'll be able to get these out. I'm obviously going to have to recreate this little sharpened bit four times to get them out. As I say, the bottom one's fine. There's no play in that at all and it moves nicely, so I don't need to touch that. But I do need to get on with this one. Oh well, let's do it. Okay folks, here's the plan. Obviously that's just a 17mm bolt. I have plenty of them if I have to make new ones. Oops, sorry. Sharpen to fit the screw heads. 
just weld these in place and then by magic when I turn that it'll release then the bolts hopefully safety first you want to go blind Well, they should switch it on, eh? Right, we'll see if that works. I'm not sure if I got the, the bolt properly. Now that's about to snap. Okay, I didn't get good enough penetration. Try that again. I just don't have a lot of room to work with. Back in a sec, I need to reshape this. I'm going to try one of the other bolts. Ow! This time I'm really going to let it cool down. That's the only thing I can think is a problem is it's expanded inside its home and it's just refusing to release. It's just too tight. Meanwhile, let's let's close up this gap and hold on. Sorry, gust of wind. Yeah, I'll close up this gap, flip it over and maybe grind all the rust off the other side mm -hmm, just waiting for this to cool down pesky bolt right let's I've, I've let this cool down let's see if it works if not you know it's going to be you know it's getting drilled out after this That's just so you don't get blinded. Hallelujah. So guys, the secret when you weld these things on to the, the bolts, let them cool for at least 15 minutes. Now I'll get this off and get on with the next bit.
try and get the pen out, that'll be fun as well. Update on the goings on across the road. So there's a girl in that black Mercedes SUV. She was taken away in handcuffs the other day. Actually, no, that's not her. So there's no sign of uh, Mr. Bad Guy Gangsta. So maybe he's in jail. Still no idea what's going on. Possibly a drug bust. Update you tomorrow. We have a shiny door. Not done the hinges yet. Sorry for the wind. Hold on. The wind hates me. Okay, so I've not got the hinges done. I cannot get... I've got two of the screws out of that one, but the other two are just refusing. I've tried welding them up like seven or eight times and they just keep snapping. So I'm going to have to drill them. But I will probably do a different video for the hinges because this is actually quite long as it is. Anyway, what do you think of the door? I think it's going to fit quite nicely. It's sitting out a little bit down there. But the gap's, the gap's bearable. I've still to add all the, the rubber lining stuff weatherproof it, weather stripping, there we go and obviously this is fairly ugly but I don't care as long as it's solid for now, that's all that matters, I really don't think it's any point spending a whole week making that look smooth when I'm going to replace the door anyway looks good from this distance, you know <laughs> it is time for my daily shout out Today's shout out goes to Ron's Garage. Ron has been helping me, as many of you have, and he needs a bit of work. And he, sorry, he needs a bit of help with his brake booster situation. So hop on by to Ron's Garage. I will provide a link in the description and also uh, where are we? Up here in my video, I believe. Or is it up there? I think it's up there. Anyway, hop along to Ron's Garage and hit the subscribe and help him out. Thank you very much. That's us for today. Thanks for dropping by. And thank you for all your continued support. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like and the little bell to be notified of my next video, which will be tomorrow or the next day or the next day or the next day. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.